Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn Gay, and this is the iFixit Rundown, where I give you all the news that happened this month at iFixit. Spring has sprung, and what better way to celebrate than with a pre-released Chromebook? Asus was excited for us to see just how serviceable and durable their new Chromebook is, so they sent us one early, and our teardown engineers were not disappointed. The C202 scored points for incorporating a whole lot of easily replaceable hardware. The trackpad, motherboard, battery, and power jack are all a cinch to replace. So our engineers awarded the new Chromebook a high score of 9 out of 10 on our repairability scale. We tore down the Galaxy this month. The Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, that is. Since the Galaxy S4, our teardown engineers have been increasingly more disappointed by the repairability of these devices. Less than a year ago, we saw the Galaxy S6 score a low 4 out of 10 on our repairability scale. We were hoping that that would be rock bottom for the S line, but alas, it was not the case. We found a few cool things of note inside, however, like a serious boost in battery power and the rubber seals that give the S7 its IP68 water resistant rating. To see the S7 and S7 Edge's scores, head on over to ifixit.com. We've seen two previous versions of the Oculus Rift, both of them development units. But now, the highly anticipated first consumer version of the Oculus Rift is finally here. The new version of the Rift has many updated features, including improved head tracking. IR LEDs around the front of the headset and the back of the headband leave no blind spots and no interruption and immersion. We found a ton of very cool stuff inside the Oculus, including two OLED displays and some pretty incredible lenses. This teardown has so many goodies, you don't want to miss it. In case that's not enough teardowns for you, here's one more. We also tore down the iPhone SE. It's basically an iPhone 5S with a lot of cool upgrades like the 12 megapixel camera and the A9 processor. But the coolest thing about it is the display, vibrator, speaker, SIM card, and SIM tray are all cross compatible with the 5S. That means replacement parts and guides are already available. You can check out the complete teardown at ifixit.com. We've updated our universal bit kit to include 128 steel bits that span from the harder to find, like Tri-Wing and Game bits, to the more common Flathead and Phillips. We've also updated our handles and made our wood case even nicer than it already was. At Apple's iPhone SE event, Phil Schiller made a comment about how sad it is that people are still rocking technology older than five years. One of our lead tech writers, Sam, wrote a poignant letter to Phil that I think we can all relate to, even if you're first in line for that shiny new upgraded tech. Check out Sam's letter over at our blog. This Earth Day, we're partnering with those cool cats at Cuttlefish to challenge you to turn your e-waste into something extraordinary. So grab those old USB cables, busted MP3 players, and dusty printers, then channel your inner MacGyver and upcycle away. You could have a shot at winning an all-new ProTech toolkit, a 64-bit driver kit, iFixit t-shirts, or a gift card from Cuttlefish. Get all the details about this challenge on our blog at ifixit.org. We recently went to the Palo Alto Repair Cafe and spent some time with its founder, Peter Skinner. Back in 2012, Peter read an article in the New York Times about repair cafes in the Netherlands. There was nothing similar in the United States at the time, and Peter was interested in starting a grassroots organization that addressed the global problem of waste. If you want to be inspired, watch the Palo Alto Repair Cafe story on our channel. Our last giveaway had a bit of a theme. Since February was the month of love, I asked you to tweet what you love about repair using the hashtag #ILoveRepair. I got some amazing responses like this one from my friend Levi Levian, who tweeted, the puzzle of disassembly and reassembly gives you a sense of freedom and ownership you don't get from the buy. Or this great tweet from at Jed, hashtag I love repair because it feels like giving life to things that would be trashed to other people otherwise. But there can only be one winner. And after our very technical procedure of picking names randomly out of a coffee mug, I'm happy to announce the winner of the ProTech screwdriver set and the Stuttgart tea is at 55 Elb Hall who tweeted, at Gwendolyn Gay, I love repair because I love a challenge. Congrats, I can't wait to see what you repair next. And that's your March iFixit Rundown. Make sure you keep up to date on all of our projects by following us on Twitter at iFixit or checking out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iFixit. Hopefully you're already subscribed to our YouTube channel, but if you're not, go ahead and click that subscribe button now. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.